Hello, welcome to Emotional Badass, where Moxie meets Mindful. I'm your host, life coach and psychotherapist, Nikki Eisenhower. And on today's episode, we are starving, suffering, and nourishing the mind, body, and soul. I'm holding one of my favorite books. It's Reconciliation, Healing the Inner Child by Thich Nhat Hanh. Now, if you don't know Thich Nhat Hanh, he is a Zen master. He's a Vietnamese Buddhist monk who was nominated in 1967 for the Nobel Peace Prize by Martin Luther King Jr. He has written many, many books, and he is just brilliant in his simplicity. And I just... I love him. One of my spiritual dads. What a gift. And I want to read for you a paragraph from page 62 of Reconciliation. Nothing can survive without food, not even suffering. No animal or plant can survive without food. In order for our love to survive, we have to feed it. If we don't feed it or we feed it the wrong kind of nutrients, Our love will die. In a short time, our love can turn into hate. Our suffering, our depression also need food to survive. If our depression refuses to go away, it's because we keep feeding it daily. We can look deeply into the source of nutrition that is feeding our suffering. What is the history of your emotional diet? Maybe you were fed things growing up that you didn't get to choose. Isn't it amazing that right now you get to choose your emotional diet? What words do you eat from the inside of your head? What emotional vitamins are you hungry for? Are you missing? What energies do you attempt to digest and with what frequency? We know what cigarette smoking does to our health. Every part of us from inside the internal organs to the external skin. And now, if you're still smoking cigarettes in 2019, you're now almost socially ostracized. I was surprised when I visited Glenwood Springs, Colorado, a few years ago, the entire town ordered that you couldn't even smoke on the streets. And I thought, well, people definitely live here and smoke. Where do they go? You couldn't even smoke a certain distance away from doors or businesses. Just the entire town had disallowed it. It was really interesting to consider. So there are starting to be social consequences to smoking cigarettes. Many of us with our mental health are like chronic cigarette smokers. We know we need to knock off the toxic stuff, but we'll leave the uncomfortable work of making that happen to another day. Many of us know that our pace of life and our self-talk, our life strategies are slowly killing us in all the ways And yet, we continue to allow this self-abuse. There is something in your life right now that you know you need to put down. Maybe it's cigarettes. Maybe it's vaping. My goodness, that has been in the news. Maybe it's foods that aren't good for you. Maybe it's a person. Maybe it's a career or a job. Maybe it's something little and small like turning off devices just a half hour earlier before going to bed. There's something in your life that's calling you. Maybe it's starting counseling or coaching. You're being called to stop something or to start something. What would it be like if you changed your emotional diet? If you truly let go of some resistance 
and nourished the mind, body, and soul in the ways that you know you need. I want to invite you to sit for a few moments of meditation with me so that we can nourish our minds, our bodies, and our souls as a practical exercise in letting go of what's toxic to step into more of self-nourishment. Wherever you are, get your wiggles out. If you're seated in a chair, allow your feet to be firmly on the ground. Close the eyes gently and lift tall through the spine. Reaching the crown of the head up to the sky. As if we can send the tops of our heads right to a blue, beautiful, crisp sky. Inhale, permission, maybe permission to take a deeper, fuller breath. Inhale, permission to nourish the body by ingesting the words I am good enough I love my imperfect flawed self I nourish my body when I allow it to soften. I feel the outline of my skin where my body meets air. I inhale to nourish my body. I exhale to release and let go. I choose positivity with each inhale. I exhale negativity. I offer myself kindness. I am worth being kind to myself. Continue to breathe, finding a gentle, nourishing rhythm. I choose to nourish myself daily with breath. I nourish myself each moment. I give permission 
to slow down my thoughts. I nourish myself from the inside out with calming self-talk. I let go of anything that is harsh or sharp or shaming. I can understand that my mind is eating. I can understand that my mind eats messages. I offer myself the message. I love you. You are important. I nourish myself when I listen deeply. I nourish myself when I use my high sensitivity to sense what's missing and when kindness is missing as a vitamin I choose to give it to myself with each breath I invite more kindness that I can change my way of being with myself as gently and swiftly I decide to nourish myself with love and light I make nourishing choices in my most successful moments and in my moments of failure. I understand now that it is up to me to nourish myself in these ways. I am love I am light, I am kind, I am flawed. Each moment I learn more of how to nourish myself and that's good. I feel my mind slowing and relaxing with this nourishment. I feel my body releasing tension and stress with this nourishment. I believe in my power To nourish myself. Whenever I am stressed, 
whenever I am lonely. I can choose to self-nourish. I am grateful for the opportunity to nourish myself. Notice the edges of the body. Where your body ends and the atmosphere begins. And notice the edges of your mind. We can take a moment to allow our minds and our hearts to connect with everyone who's out there in the world choosing to self-nourish. My mind and my heart can reach out and touch other seekers on the journey who are valuing learning self-nourishment. Take a deep breath into that. Notice what that feels like. Notice this new way of self-nourishing. If you have extra time, consider sitting in stillness and in silence. This is its own nourishment. And if you're ready to come back to the day, Begin to flutter the eyes open, coming back to your body, back to your mind and to your heart, back to the room or to the space. Maybe end this episode with me if you'd like with a hand on your heart and a hand on your belly, with eyes wide open. And I welcome you to the idea of self-nourishment. Let's nourish what's good. Let's nourish what's healthy. It will sustain us. And let's starve suffering. And let's starve suffering. Thank you for meditating with me today. Thank you, Patreon supporters. Y'all are our show nourishment, and we feel nourished by all of your contributions. I want to thank Wendy Reed. Ooh, we got a full name shout out. I want to thank Liz and Jenna H, Charla C, Shanna, and Melissa. We can't do the show without you. 
Thank you. And I hope you enjoy the episodes that we have, the exclusive episodes and content that we have for you. Those of you that are on our behind the scenes, the new videos we've been doing of Chris and I together. Those have been fun. We look forward to continuing those for you. Thank you for being people in the world that value nourishing yourselves and each other. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you here next time. I'm an emotional badass. You're an emotional badass. And together we are where Moxie meets mindful. Bye-bye.